Hello and welcome to this Dr Ross video on finding angles in polygons within regular polygons. So we've got a regular octagon here for example and a regular nonagon that's nine sides. Nonagon is a nine sided polygon. And we've got a shape inside this octagon, we've got this triangle here and then inside this nonagon we've got this five sided shape here which is a pentagon. A five sided shape is a five sided polygon, is a pentagon, it's not a regular pentagon but it's still a pentagon. And we want to find y here, we want to find x here. Now the key here is just realising, well, if it's a regular octagon, all the sides are the same length. So that side is the same length as that side, the same length as that side, etc. So these two sides here, and we indicate with this single mark, they're the same length. And that means this is an isosceles triangle. It has two sides of the same length. So if we were to find this angle here, which is just the interior angle of this octagon, if we found that interior angle of the octagon, then because these two angles are the same, because it's an isosceles triangle, then we can easily find y. Now let's work out the interior angle of an octagon. Do you remember each interior angle of a regular polygon is equal to 180 minus 360 divided by the number of sides. And I'm not going to explain why again, just to avoid repeating myself. But we can apply that to this octagon. An octagon is eight sides, so 180 minus 360 over 8 is 135 degrees. So this interior angle here is 135 degrees. And then we can just subtract the 135 degrees from 180, which is 45 degrees, and then divide it by 2 to get the y. So we do 180 minus 135 is 45 degrees. So that gives the sum of these two angles, these two add up to 45 degrees in this triangle here. And then you just divide it by two. So y is 45 split evenly between these two equal angles and that gives you 22.5 degrees. So that is the final answer here, that is y. What about over here? Well, we repeat the same as before. We find the interior angle of this nonagon. So we do 180 minus 360 divided by the number of sides, which is nine, and that gives you 140 degrees. So in this shape here, this pentagon, the five-sided shape here, let's put in the interior angles. So this is 140 degrees, that's 140 degrees. This is also an interior angle, that's 140 degrees. Um, these two are not 140 degrees because that's not an interior angle. It's between this side of the nonagon, but not that side. It's this other side that's inside. So this is going to be less than 140 degrees. However, we do know by symmetry, look, there's a line of symmetry here. That angle there, that x there is going to be the same as that angle there. So we can call that x. And this goes back to a previous video we saw earlier where we have angles in a polygon. It's not regular, but we know the sum of the angles in this polygon. Well, it's one, two, three, four, five side. It's a pentagon, as we said earlier. How do we find the total interior angle of an n-sided shape? Well, we just do 180 multiplied by the number sides minus two. So we're going to use this formula here, the total interior angle. So we just do 180 multiplied by n minus 2. So the number size is 5. It's a pentagon. So 5 minus 2. Remember, when you have things next to each other in algebra, it means you times them together. So it's 180 times by n minus 2. So that gives you 540 degrees. So the total of all of these angles, interior angles, in this pentagon here is 540. We know these three add up to 140. So we can just do 540, the total of these angles, minus 140, minus 140, minus 140, is 120 degrees. And then we know these two remaining angles add up to 120, so x is just going to be half of 120. And that's 60 degrees, so that is the final answer. x here is 60 degrees.